in the last video, we were looking at uh, uh, VT100 files, uh, which were basically text files with uh, you know, uh, escape characters in them that uh, would play animations in your shell. Now, there are actually programs that do ASCII art animations, and I showed this one years ago. It's in your repository, so you would, on a Debian system, you can use apt, aptitude, apt-get, uh, whatever package ranger you prefer, uh, but you would install CMatrix. And I already have it installed, but you would go through the process of installing that. And you also want PV installed, uh, so you would actually this if you don't already have PV installed, which I think is installed on most systems. Um, so, and the way it works is you type in C matrix, you run it, and you get a matrix shell, or yeah, matrix display in your shell. Control C to clear out of that. Um, so let's say we wanted to save that to a text file. I can run C matrix and pipe it into a file. I'll just call it CM, or redirect it into a file. And when you hit enter, you're not gonna see anything because it's all being put into that text file. We'll let it run for a little bit and then I'll hit Control C to stop it. Now if we were to try to cat that out, yeah, it worked, it just worked really fast. Just like our other videos, it happened so fast that uh, we didn't see it. So let's go ahead and do what we did last time, which is PV-Q-L and give it a, a baud rate. We'll say 9600 and we'll hit Enter. And now it's slowing down that animation so we should be able to see it you might have black for a few seconds there, and then it starts up. And there you go. I hit Control C. Now, you'll notice I don't have a cursor anymore because it kind of messed up my shell again. You can type reset and it will fix that, and I now have a cursor again. Um, if we wanted to, we can make it go a little bit faster by upping the baud rate. So, there we go. So, I mean, that's just a fun little trick. Now, you might be asking why you would want to do this, and that's a very good question. Again, I'm going to control C, and again, I, I've lost my cursor, so I'm going to reset my shell. Um, and I can come up with some ideas on why you might want to do this. Maybe you want to write a shell script that displays that for a bit, but you don't want them to have to have C matrix installed. You just want to have it built into your system. Well, you can put that text into your shell script or as a separate file, and you don't have to have to worry about having the binary file of CMatrix installed on the system. Or maybe you're on a system that CMatrix isn't necessarily readily available for. It's not in the package manager, or maybe you're, you're working on a router that you're logging into, and for some reason you want to just be cool and have the matrix shell in there. Um, and so you don't want to have to recompile C matrix or find a copy for that processor. Well, if this is a plain text file, which means any system we're on, you can uh, cat it out. And if I'm not mistaken, let me see something real quick. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't see it here. Disregard what I was about to say. Um, of course, you would still need uh, PV installed. I just accidentally locked my machine. Um, <laughs> you still need PV installed, um, but uh, I don't think that's what I, I really thought it was part of BusyBox. Maybe my uh, copy of BusyBox doesn't have it installed. I could have sworn PV was part of BusyBox. Um, but anyway, anyway, there's there's really no no uh, real real reason to do this. Uh, you know, s record it to a file other than the fact that you can. Again, that most common is maybe you want to throw that into a shell script as an intro to your shell script or something like that uh, without actually having the binary installed on a system. Because once it's in a shell script, it's all plain text. Uh, the, the architecture of the system does not matter, so there's nothing to recompile. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this silly little tutorial. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Uh, there you can uh, search through all my videos or support me over at patreon.com forward slash melex1000. I do appreciate any financial support uh, that you could give if you enjoy my videos. I, I, you know, Even if you give a dollar a month, that would be awesome. If you can't support financially, please share, like, subscribe, uh, and comment. Definitely share. Again, I'm trying to get my views up. Uh, and uh, I hope that you have a great day.